Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's pick a card reading and it is the weekly healing tarot reading. So I hope you're all doing great today. Welcome to anyone new. Welcome back to anyone returning. I hope you enjoyed today's reading. My name's Kat. If you like the reading, please share it. Please like it and, and leave a message. Uh, yeah, um, if you want a private reading with me, you can check the description box below. Let's get on with today's reading and it is a weekly healing tarot reading. So just for those of you who don't normally watch my readings or if you haven't watched one of these before, it's slightly different to my other readings in that it provides a transmission of healing energy just by virtue of watching the video. So you don't have to do anything, you will receive the healing just by watching it, okay? So the guides are very keen for you to know that. But they will also give you advice. So these next seven cards or whatever it is, six cards, will give you advice on this week, how can you heal? Heal is the spiritual sense of heal. So it doesn't really necessarily mean actual healing. It means growth. It means learning. How can you improve your situation and your life? They're going to tell you through these cards. Let's have a look. Hi, group one. So your weekly healing tarot reading, what do you need to do to grow, to heal, to have a more prosperous situation this week? So you're getting the healing transmission just through watching. But also they're saying for you, you need to know the Hierophant, King of Wands, the Empress, the Knight of Wands. You also need to know that there's some block around Sacral Chakra and the Chariot. So they're asking you, look, you've got the King of Wands and the Empress. This is masculine, feminine. Uh, masculine is the king of wands in the everyday this is the like the divine masculine in the everyday the empress is the divine feminine in the major arcana so it's like in all ways you have to bring balance to your world okay so to there's a massive need for creativity one thing there's a massive need for balance both on the big in the bigger picture and on the daily basis you need to bring balance there's a massive need with the move card for you to go past obstacles. You're going to have to be very focused and determined. There's some things in your way, but you can work through them, past them, around them. You might have to go at the situation from an unusual angle, but you can overcome the problems. But you're going to have to be very focused and determined. You will be triumphant only if you can do that. You may have to find creative solutions. They're saying yes to that. But it's time to go to the next level. You need to use what you've learned to overcome this problem, whatever it is. The Hierophant is saying it's not about making a wild change. It's about being determined and focused. Knowing what in your heart what is right and following through. Following through, following the, the path, following what they're telling you to do. You know in your heart the path you're on and what you need to do. And it's just a case of keeping going. The Knight of Wands is saying you've got to be bold. You've got to be prepared to take action. The Sacral Chakra is blocked. There's some issues around feeling like you can create forward motion in life. There's some things in your way. So you're like, well, I can't do anything because there's things in my way. No, you've got to find a creative solution. You've got to go through. You've got to find a way through the obstacles. Be bold. Be brave. Take action. The King of Wands is saying be the director in your life. Take charge. Don't be... Uh, I was going to say, don't be wimpy and weedy about it. They're not saying you are being, they're saying don't be in the future. Don't be afraid to be bold. That's the key with the Knight of Wands, King of Wands, Empress, Sacral Chakra being a bit blocked with the move card. They're saying be bold, take action, move forward. You can move through this situation. You can be triumphant. You can move through the situation. You might feel you can't. Don't believe it. You've learned a lot. Keep applying what you've learned. Keep moving. Keep going. Follow the light, follow your inner wisdom and go for it. You can succeed. That's the key message. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group two. So here we've got three John Holland for you, four... Um, Fan, fountain tarot and this is your healing message so what do you need to do to move past the issues or problems and to achieve more of what you want we've got the wheel of fortune nine of swords 
Eight of Coins and the Two of Coins. We've got the Control card, which is the Strength card. We've got Ace of Cups. And we've got the Magician. Okay, so what can you do to move forward to heal the situation or improve the situation? Let them help you. That's the main message, Wheel of Fortune. They're trying to guide you towards your destiny, but you're panicking and you're freaking out. You're worrying, you're stressing out. Don't. There's no need to panic. There's no need to panic this week. Allow them to guide you. Learn, listen, learn and follow your uh, deeper wisdom okay we'll talk more about it in a minute but they're saying that if things have felt bad for you around this time they're going to improve the situation will improve for you you have a lot of fear you may be having sleepless nights it's time to work on that so you might need to do some meditation watch some free videos on youtube about how to relax maybe get some um Watch some people like uh, Wayne Dyer, Louise Hay, um, sign up for uh, uh, Gaia, you know, the, the free uh, trial on Gaia, the Netflix for spirituality and personal transformation, you know, read some books on it, you know, basically it's about finding, you know, read some books about happiness or watch some TED Talks about happiness or about getting past your fears or whatever. Wherever you're guided, but you have to take some action. Eight of Coins is about self-mastery. It's about learning your craft. It's about improving your situation. It's about working hard on yourself. So this could be about work, but it could be about you and your life in general. There's some a lot of fear and overwhelm, but the manifest card, the magician is saying you already have everything you need to Ace of Cups the situation. Have a new emotional start. But you've got to get control of yourself. So this is strength. This is about being brave. It's also about maturity. It's also about balance. It's also about not being reactive. It's about knowing the, the, the blending the sort of intellect and the instinct and about making measured, brave choices and moving forward in your life with a sense of control and measured passion. Yeah. And so they are trying to help you but you need to learn from your past mistakes you need to be very measured and brave and like I say don't let your fear control you you have a new beginning around you love abounds there's a lot of love and emotion emotional support around you so allow the people who love you to help you but also they're saying that you have this new start there for you everything you need is already there but you have to break out of this fearful pattern you're juggling a lot of things. You're trying to keep a lot of things going in one go. It feels like you haven't got enough. Don't panic and make things worse for yourself by worrying. Do the best you can because the universe is going to improve your situation. So things are going to get easier around you very soon. When they do, if you're nice and calm and you're looking to improve your situation, you're trying to gain mastery over your fears and over your concerns, what you'll find is that these two things will collide the universe will improve your situation and you'll be ready to move forward. There's probably a new emotional start for you. For some of you, it's in career. For some of you, it's in love. Something positive is coming, but you've got to wait for this opportunity to come, but also master your own fears by doing the, doing the work. Yeah, When you overcome your own fears, you will find a situation will open up for you for a new beginning. I hope this makes sense. Loads of love. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime. See you soon, guys. Hi, guys. How are you doing? This is your weekly healing tarot reading. So I've got uh, four uh, fountain tarot and two uh, John Holland psychic tarot for the heart. So let's have a look at what do you need to do? What is their advice to you to get more of your, what you want, to heal, to grow, and to move forward in your situation? We've got the Seven of Wands, the Emperor, the Five of Wands, and the Two of Cups. We've got the Ace of Swords, Clarity of Belief, and the Crown Chakra. So, this is very, very good. You've got um, some really big changes coming for you in a very good way. You're moving towards 
some sort of emotional fulfillment. The two of cups could be a new relationship or something going well in your relationship. Because this is like a soulmate or a soul connection energy. It's also encouraging you to do everything you do from the heart and soul. It's also saying that the answer to your current issues or in order to improve your life or move forward in your life is going to come through those emotional connections with people. It's going to come through relationships. It's going to come through connecting with people on a heart and soul level, being genuine, being authentic. They're advising you that you're dealing with some low vibe people at the moment. You need to get out of this superficial arguing kind of petty low vibe energy. So some of you, this is a work environment, friends, family, could be the social media that you're engaging with. But five of ones is this low vibe, squabbly, challenging energy that makes you feel drained. You know, people or social media that when you spent half an hour or an hour with them, you come away and you feel like, you know, you feel bad, you feel drained, you feel stressed out, you feel detached from yourself or not fully yourself anymore. So the way to know if someone is a drain is not so much how you feel when you're with them, but how you feel when you have left them. Because sometimes you can feel caught up in this situation at the time and you think it's okay. But you come away from that person and you feel exhausted, you feel drained, you feel irritated, whatever. This is a sign of this the, the vibration of this person and, and also just the vibe between you guys. It's not always the other person entirely, it's you as well. So there's like a low vibe there. So what they're saying is be aware that there's some low vibe around you. And instead of you partaking in this low vibe, you need to go from a more authentic place. So the way to be successful more is to connect with people on a deep level, on a genuine level, not to get caught up in the low energy. Yes, the seven of wands is saying you've got to come at this from your heart and soul. You know what's right for you. You know in your heart, but not everyone's going to agree with you. Other people will try and drag you down. Other people will try and tell you it's not true or it's not right for you or you're wrong about something. But you know it's not true. In order to be successful, other people, you're going to have to ignore some other people. Maybe other people will be jealous or maybe they're not. Maybe they are well-intentioned. They really think they're giving you good advice, but it could be wrong. Okay, so there's some people around you who are not right about the situation and you're in danger of listening to them. So listen to what is in your intuition. Listen to what's in your heart. But you don't have to be uh, mean or difficult about it you, or, or argumentative about it. You don't have to argue with them and say they're wrong. No, you just move forward doing what you know is right. That's the way to heal the situation. So you don't have to say, oh, no, you're wrong. I'm this, I'm that. No, all you need to do is be genuine connect with them authentically you can thank them for their opinion or not whatever but then you you are only putting in good vibes into the situation basically but you are not allowing anybody else to drag you down you are like a train going for what you want you are being guided at the minute this is something you really need to know with the crown chakra in my readings it's not the meaning of this card it's not what john holland intended but in my readings, it tends to mean that the universe is stepping in to help you. It's like the Wheel of Fortune and then some, right? So you may have noticed that things in your life are not working. Some things, it doesn't matter what you do, they don't work. Other things that used to be really difficult are suddenly easy. You're suddenly finding it impossible to make something work even though it should be really easy or making or something that should be really hard is just flowing in. The point is, this is the universe helping you. Okay, so they're saying, let them help you. It might feel like you're a bit out of control of your life. Don't worry, it's a new beginning coming in. They're saying that they're doing a lot of the work. You just need to direct this on the physical plane. So they're sending opportunities to you. They're taking things out of your life. They're putting new things in. You just need to be the emperor. You don't have to start getting in and doing loads of different things the universe is doing it for you but you just need to direct the show so you're just driving the ship but you are not the uh, you're just steering the the ship but you're not the engine the universe is the engine and you are uh, just steering yeah steering and navigating okay so the emperor is saying it's time to move forward it's time to take action but you don't have to think about it too much do what's in your heart follow your instincts be authentic and you can't go far wrong. 
The clarity of belief is saying you've got something new coming in for you. It's the truth. It's your authentic truth. It's who and what you truly are. But it's going to require you, like I said with the seven of wands, to go through a few battles, to cut away a few people and situations, as I said with the five of wands. When you do, you will find authenticity. You'll find the truth. You'll find a new beginning. And this is going to turn your life around. You are going to be the master of your destiny. You are going to take massive action forwards towards something you really want. Hope this makes sense. Loads of love. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon.